God bless you. Thank you. We're so glad you came tonight. Let me introduce the group to you real quick. As you can already tell, if it wasn't for her, there wouldn't be any looks up here at all, right? She sings the tenor for us. She's the best tenor singer we've ever had. She's the only tenor singer we've ever had. About six years ago, she was diagnosed with MS. She'll tell you a little bit about it later, but God has blessed her. She has not missed a, she has not missed a service since she was diagnosed, and that deserves a hand from the Lord. Would you? I've known them for a long time. This is her husband over on this end. After they were married about a year, he came home one day with his wedding band. He had taken it off. She noticed it but didn't say anything for a couple of days. Finally, she says, Earl, why did you take your wedding band off? He said, it cuts off my circulation. She says, that's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> Would you make her welcome? That's Betty Lenticum. This is her husband over here. He used to use head and shoulders. Now he uses mop and glow. <laughs> Sings the bass for us, and I think he does a pretty good job. He's the best bass singer we've ever had. He's the only bass singer we've ever had. Make him welcome, Mr. Earl Lenticum. <laughs> this guy just come back off a pleasure trip today took his mother-in-law to the airport. <laughs> I asked him not too long ago, I said, James, what would you do if you knew you only had six months to live? He said, I'd move in with my mother-in-law. I said, why? He said, that'd be the longest six months I ever lived in my life. <laughs> would you make him welcome, Mr. James Austin? My name is Felton Jurgen, and that's Carolina Royalty, and we're glad to be here today. Thank you. How many of you have ever heard your mother or your father say your sins are going to find you out? Jack Clark wrote a song for us, used to play for the harvesters, and we recorded it, and I want you to listen to it. Your sins are going to find you out. Now, we acted out a little bit, so... Be careful. This is a mess, folks. I want you to know that. It was Eve's original intention to eat the fruit and not to mention that she'd been talking to a snake in the garden that day. But then who should chance along but Adam? He took a bite. Then trouble had him, and God put him out of the garden of Eden to stay. God's detection of the few days in the belly of the fish kind of turning the tide. tide. You see, there was more than just the question of trying to escape digestion. God said, Follow me, Jonah, or this will be your last ride. Oh, Transgressions of this there is no doubt. So don't try to hide in the cover of the night, but what you do in the dark is 
He never ever seen a razor. He was off to see Delilah. He was disobeying his dad. And while our old boy was misbehaving, he went to sleep and his head was shaven. His strength went away. Another good old boy has gone by. Oh, your sins are gone. Sins are gonna find you. Just like old Jonah. Your sins are gonna find you. 